I'm excited for this convening as an opportunity to connect with other practitioners, people who are doing interesting, innovative work in the field to get ideas for new ways we can also improve on our STEM offering, but also to connect with other potential partners such as government or other stakeholders. I got to come to the M Education Alliance Symposium last year for the first time, and it was a fantastic experience. And I'm excited that when I got to share about my experience with um, some partners I work with in the ministries of education in Ghana and Liberia, they eagerly mobilize themselves to join in. So this year there's a small group of people from both of those ministries who've come alongside. So that's been really exciting to see that um, there's a growing you know, group of people uh, working towards really being intentional about STEM education in these contexts. So at Penn, we do a hands-on STEM teacher training. We run a program that equips elementary through high school science and math teachers in Ghana, Liberia, and Rwanda to leverage low-cost, locally available materials to teach hands-on activities in their classrooms. Most schools that we work with don't have labs and they don't have budgets for buying equipment. Uh, but we don't think that should stop students from getting to learn in a very experiential, hands-on way. So what's STEMtastical about our approach is that we're enabling teachers to use locally available items. Think water bottles, sticks, stones, balloons, flowers, local foods, and teachers get to learn to repurpose those into activities that are hands-on but still aligned to the national curriculum. I think being at this symposium, being literally in the same room as people from various countries across the continent is really challenging me to think about what it would look like for us to scale our work such that it could touch Malawi, Zimbabwe, Kenya, and all the places that are represented here. Um, I think leveraging AI is something that I'm curious about and getting some ideas from at this symposium, and I'm taking that back with me to think further on.